Okay, this is the 2015-2016 Arbor Wasteland. It's the flagship model in the Arbor line. Um, it looks absolutely amazing. Um, again, it's one that you just want to hang on your wall. Um, to be honest though, that would be a waste. Um, you want to get and ride it because premium build quality in this um, just makes the ride really, really good. Um, I mean, I rode this in a 160 um, and it felt like a much shorter board. Uh, I think a part of that is the shape of the nose here. Obviously, it's a slightly unusual shape. Um, if you imagine that this isn't here, uh, you'd be shaving off a couple of centimetres. So actually on the kind of hard pack snow and in the slushy snow that we've got today, it feels like a shorter board. Um, that with the fact that it, it's light as well, just meant it was super agile um, and easy to ride. The benefit of having this extra length though is when you get the soft snow and you get the good stuff, you've got extra float in there. Um, th another key feature with the Arbor boards, um, they're a rocker profile. So great for, again, riding in soft snow. If you've never ridden a rocker board in, in powder, then I definitely would urge you to do it. Um, you just take away that kind of back foot weighted thing, trying to keep the nose out, um, makes it effortless. Um, the downside of a rocker profile though is that it can sometimes uh, make the edge hold kind of less reliable. So to combat this, Arbor have added the grip tech um, to the side cut. So that's kind of a, a bulging side cut under the, the bindings. And what that does is it kind of focuses the pressure right under your heel and toe edge. Um, so it's just giving you more, more edge grip when you're on the kind of harder terrain. Um, this obviously being the flagship but board in the range uh, has a fairly high price tag, but you're getting super premium uh, materials. And um, I mean, just look at it. All right, it's, it's a good looking board and yeah, super, super ride. Um, so that is the 2015-2016 Arbor Wasteland.